If you're intending on catch and release, remember that the name of the game is to do as little damage as possible to the fish. It's vital that you use a landing net and ideally a soft mesh or knotless landing net. You need to get things under control as soon as possible. Don't play the fish out. Stress free is the object here. Place the net in the water and bring the fish to within easy reach. Then simply lift the net up over the fish. It's that simple. For the next part of the operation, you're probably going to need a pair of forceps or hook pliers. Carefully remove the hook, taking care not to damage the fish's mouth. Keep the fish in the water at all times. Do not remove it. It's very important that water remain over its gills. Don't grip it too tight and be sure to keep fingers and thumbs well clear of its gills. Once the fly is removed, it's a good idea to rest the fish before releasing. Take a few moments to gently cradle it facing up into the current and when the fish is ready, it will gently swim off. Well done! A nice fish landed that also lives to spawn another day. So the fish you've caught is a beauty and you'd like to get a shot and then release it. Make sure you leave the fish in the water. You want to release it in the best condition possible. Remove the hook and cradle the fish gently. While you're doing all this, your photographer should be getting ready and if you're by yourself, leave the fish in the net and the water while you get your camera out. There you go. Dip the fish in and out of the water. It's good for the fish and makes for a great shot. Make sure you take your pictures as quickly as possible. The more handling time your fish experiences, the less likely it is to recover. Nice job. A healthy fish and a great shot to remember it by.